Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to split um, monogram fonts using Inkscape. The font I'm going to use is called Regal. You can download it from dafont.com for free. I'll put a link in the comment box below if you haven't already got it. So I'm going to jump straight in. So I'm going to go to the text tool. I'm going to click on my page and I'm going to type a capital letter H. Then I'm going to click the select tool. So that selects the letter and I'm just going to drag this out so you can see it. You can size it exactly if you if you wish, but for this video, I'm just going to drag it out. Then what we need to do, we need to click on the create rectangle or square icon and we need to drag a box out roughly across the centre of our shape and let go. Then click the select tool so that selects that last item and while that's selected right click and hit duplicate and it looks as though nothing's happened but there will be a duplicate there and drag it away and take it off your page and while that one's selected right click and click duplicate again and again click on it and bring it down and you've got two. Okay because we'll need those in a few minutes. Now drag an imaginary box around both of these two shapes, go to the align icon up here and left click and that will open up this um, box with other options for you. You want to make sure you've got selection in the box here, You can, if you click here there's all options, you want selection and you want this middle icon here which is centre on vertical axis and that's going to put the H and the rectangle we've just drawn centrally together. And you can close that down now. While they're all still selected, you go to Path, Division, and then you should see all little boxes, which means it's divided it. So what we have to do now is separate it, but they're all in bits. So left click somewhere on your page to deselect the letter and then drag an imaginary box around the top half, roughly, of your letter that you're typing, in my case, the H, and let go. And that will select that top half. Using the arrows on your keyboard, press the up arrow several times to separate the two sections. Now these are all in bits and they won't weld while they're like this. So while this is selected, go to Object, Group, and that's now one group and then drag an imaginary box around the bottom half that's still all in bits and go to object group. Then drag one of these boxes back over and roughly line it up. Drag an imaginary box around those two sections, go back to your align option and center. And then just close that down for a minute. Now you need to, to left click anywhere off the page just to deselect and then left click on the top half of your letter. These two objects won't weld while this is still a group so you've got to ungroup this now so you go to object ungroup and you can see it's all back in bits. Click anywhere off your page to deselect, drag an imaginary box around all of those and then go to path union and they should be welded together and we'll have a look in a minute. Bring this one back in, put that one over, drag an imaginary box around both of them, go to the align icon and centre, close that down, click anywhere on your page to deselect, click this bottom half of your letter, go to object, ungroup, then click on your page again to deselect, drag an imaginary box around both of these again, Go to align and center, sorry, undo. Imaginary box around everything, close that down, we don't need that, sorry. Path, union. Now if we go to view, display, outline, you'll see now that that rectangle's welded to that half and that's length welded to that half. I'll line them up. There you go. Now, I'm just going to close that down. I'm just going to move these up a little bit. 
Now I like to work in outline and no fill. So down here where it says stroke, if you right click and choose black, and then where it says fill, right click and remove fill. Now we're going to save this as an SVG file and open it in Canvas. So file, save as, I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to save it as h.svg and click save. And then all you need to do is open Canvas. and import your SVG file. So we'll do that now. Just going to log in. Create a new project. Just waiting for it to open. Go to project import SVG, ask you to choose your file. I'm going to navigate to my desktop, find my file, click choose and then click OK and it's brought it in and it's grouped and I'll just fill it with colour so you can see how it looks. And then all you would need to do is up here give you give your project a title, H, monogram, save. Project's now saved within Canvas for me and then download. Click download. It's given, there's its name, H Monogram FCM. You right click on that name, on that title. You choose download link as and then put it somewhere you can find it. I tend to put them on my desktop and then drag them onto a USB stick and that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe and leave me any comments below. Thank you.